guys, this is Dan Seifert from MobileBurn.com, and right here what I've got is the latest from RIM. This is the BlackBerry Bold 9930 smartphone, coming soon from Verizon Wireless. Uh, now the BlackBerry Bold 9930 is the successor uh, for Verizon for the uh, Bold 9650, which is pretty long in the tooth at this point. Features a lot of upgrades, a lot of new improvements, a lot of redesigns, and the latest and greatest OS from RIM. So let's check it out. Box itself, pretty standard. Uh, Blackberry box that for Verizon Wireless that we've seen for a long time. Let's just get this guy open. And there you have it. There's the 9930 itself. Let's pop this open and let's see. Do we have a battery? No battery in here. So let's get the battery going. We'll go over what else it comes in here. And while that starts up, we'll just put it aside for now and take a look at what kind of accessories we got. So in this small box here, we've got your instruction manuals. Let's see here. Instruction manuals, your SIM card would be in here, I suppose. Usual stuff like that. Probably comes in a couple different languages as well, but pass on that there for now. In this box here, or this section, we've got the uh, micro USB cable and the brick that it plugs into to plug into the wall for your charging purposes. And then on the other side, Ryzen and RIM have included a holster case for the 9930. Uh, now if you notice what's missing from old versions, or older versions of the Bold series, is a set of headphones. So you don't get headphones, but you do get uh, this leather case to fit the device itself. It's got a rotating clasp, like so, magnetic lever or magnetic latch, like we're traditionally seen on uh, rims, BlackBerry cases. So there you go. That takes care of the accessories that come with it. Now, if we take a look at the uh, Bold 9930's hardware itself, uh, one of the things that you will notice immediately is the QWERTY keyboard on here. This is a similar design to QWERTY keyboard to the original Bold 9000 that came out a couple years ago. Uh, it's definitely wider and bigger than the 9930, uh, or um, excuse me, 9650 that Verizon was previously carrying. Um, above that are four buttons for your hang up, your menu key, your back key, and your, uh, excuse me, that's your call key and that's your hang up key over there. Uh, and then it's, of course, uh, separated by an optical touchpad that we've seen on Blackberries for a long time now. At the top of the device, you've got a uh, your notification light and um, light sensor, and then your earpiece is right there as well. All the way at the bottom, not sure if you can really see in this video, but it's got a tiny sliver cut out at the bottom there for the uh, uh, microphone um, right there. Then, of course, front and center, you've got the 640 by 480 2.8 inch full touchscreen display, which, of course, is an upgrade to the previous um, bold models. Now, if you notice around the rim here, we've got a nice uh, metal um, rim on, on the uh, phone itself, uh, and it, it really, really feels great. It's got a great quality feel touch, touch to it. Uh, it's very similar to the uh, metal edge found on the iPhone 4. Um, and it works to just as great, great effect on the, uh, the Bold 9930. It really gives it a quality feel uh, in your hand. And if we look at the side of the phone, you notice this is the uh, thinnest BlackBerry that's ever been produced. It's just about 10.5 millimeters thick or so. So it's very, very thin, just slightly thicker than an iPhone 4. On this particular side, we've got the micro USB port and then the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On top, you've got your um, lock key here. Uh, notice there's no mute key, it's just a uh, pa uh, sleep and uh, lock key there. And then on the other side, you've got your volume keys with a convenience key in the middle, and then another convenience key down here, which is by default set to open to your, open your camera. Uh, the other side does not feature a convenience key. The older Blackberries had two, one on each side, but the new 9930 only has one. So on the bottom here, you can see this uh, metal detail along the rim. Doesn't really purpose, uh, provide any functional purpose, but it does uh, look pretty nice. It's got these kind of 
faux rivet, rivets there on the edge there. If we look at the back of the uh, 9930, you've got your uh, 5 megapixel camera on the back. This is uh, 5 megapixel stills and it records 720p video, but it does not autofocus. So uh, that's kind of a step back um, from the older version, older cameras on the older bo bold models. And then you've got an LED flash on the other side of it. Now the battery door here is here itself and we can pop that open and you can see the battery door itself it's made of uh, it, it, what looks like to be carbon fiber um, material uh, it may not be to be honest with you but uh, it definitely has that look and then it's got you can see this NFC antenna here that lines up with these two contacts uh, underneath the battery door um, for NFC purposes the battery itself is a bit smaller than what we're used to seeing on the older bold models the older bold models had a 1500 milliamp hour battery, but this one features a 1230 milliamp hour battery. So it's a bit smaller, uh, but RIM does say that you should be able to get about a day's worth of usage out of it, um, despite its smaller size. Now that we've pulled the battery off, you can see two more things. You've got uh, your card slot there for your micro SD cards. Verizon and RIM do not provide one out of the box with this, but the bold uh, 9930 does have 8 gigabytes of internal storage. If you do need more storage, you can pop a, up to a 32 gigabyte card in there for uh, greater storage expansion. And then right here you can see the SIM card that's already pre-installed there because this is a global phone. So it supports both Verizon CDMA network in the States and you can also use it uh, overseas with GSM networks. So there you have it. That's a, essentially a hardware rundown of the new Bold 9930. Uh, the build quality really feels great. Uh, you've got a lot of nice touches to the build quality on the 9930 from the, the metal rim that's around the front to the uh, soft touch rubber that's on the back and the um, battery door that's got that kind of faux carbon fiber look to it. Very solid, great build quality, right up there with uh, uh, high-end phones like the iPhone 4. Really no complaints whatsoever with the, the build quality itself. Uh, the keyboard is the biggest keyboard that RIM has really put on one of the Bold series phones and it really feels great. Uh, you got a lot of tactile feedback, uh, certainly one of the best keyboards that we've used um, for typing on it. It really feels excellent. So once this guy is powered back up, we'll take a look at the new software from the BlackBerry uh, 7 OS. Alright, now that we've got the 9930 powered on and set up with a couple of counts, we can take a look at the brand new OS 7 from RIM. Um, this is the latest version of the BlackBerry OS. And while you might see, it might seem very similar and familiar to um, older versions of the BlackBerry OS, like OS 5 or OS 6, um, it does offer quite a few new features. It takes advantage of some of the new hardware that is available to the 9930. Uh, now, the 9930 is powered by a 1.2 gigahertz processor, uh, so it's actually very fast. It's one of the, definitely the fastest BlackBerry that we've ever used um, as far as responsiveness goes and uh, things like that. You can see you can navigate through these um, application menus um, very quickly and easily. We can uh, open up apps very, very quickly. See, scrolling is very smooth as well. It certainly helps to have uh, 768 megabytes of RAM as well, which is uh, what is included with the 9930. Now, RIM says that the BlackBerry OS 7 is about 40% faster web browsing than OS 6 and 100% faster web browsing than OS uh, 5. Um, so the web browser has been worked on extensively. So let's take a look at that and see what how well it does with our website here. Now by default it's loaded up our um, mobile format of the site. You can see you can scroll through there pretty quickly. Let's load up the full version here. We're connected to a pretty fast Wi-Fi network right now, so we're not relying on the uh, mobile network. The uh, 9930 is a 3G only device. It does not support Verizon's 4G LTE network. Now the 9930 did take a minute to load our site, but as you can see you can scroll around quickly and easily even while the site is continuing to load up in the background. It does support pinch to zoom uh, so that's pretty smooth and effortless very similar to the pinch to zoom we see on Android and iOS uh, smartphones and tablets. Uh, it does not support flash though so you will not be able to watch flash videos or flash animation. Now, the browser on OS 7 borrows a lot from the browser found in the BlackBerry tablet OS found on the BlackBerry playbook you can run multiple tabs at once so you can have your website open and open up another page so let's
and then you can bounce between the two that you have open or more than two however many you'd like and you can close them individually as well pretty quickly and smooth when it uh, does respond we do have some have had some issues where it uh, just pretty much hangs up and does not respond for a number of seconds which can get quite frustrating but once when it is responding it is very fast that's for sure if we take a look at some of the apps that uh, Verizon and RIM have included uh, out of the box with the uh, Bold 9930 you've got your VZ Navigator of course we've got BBM there for um, messaging Blackberry World is included uh, Bing Search is integrated into uh, the uh, 9930 and it's also the default search provider for the web browser though you can change it to Google or Yahoo or whatever you'd like you've got a YouTube application here that if you click that it gives you two options uh, you can browse the Google's uh, the YouTube's website immediately or you can upload a video directly from your uh, 9930 then you got Facebook and Twitter are pre-installed and you've got this other uh, one here which is called social feeds and that kinda aggregates your social news feeds together and you can add RSS feeds um, you can add podcasts you got favorites that you can plug in there and then flagged items so it's pretty similar to the social integration that we see on a lot of Android devices this folder here has got instant messaging applications next to that are other various productivity applications some couple of games of course Brick, Brick Breaker is uh, included with OS 7 and your options, backup assistant from Verizon. It's Google Sync there that we added to get some contacts on here. Um, and uh, your volume, your wireless networks, and things like that. Um, now, the pages of applications, you can set certain apps as your favorites. Uh, you got media applications there, downloaded applications that you've added to the device, uh, and then your frequent applications, so your most used applications, will show up here. Now, uh, you can pull this tray up and down. Uh, so you can have one row of applications, up to full three rows of applications, or you can hide it entirely. Above that tray is the universal search bar, and if you tap that, we'll show you any notifications in your upcoming calendar. And if you start typing, you can search immediately from there. So let's see. And it will search contacts in the device, it will search your email accounts, it will search your applications, it will also search the web. Uh, right there so you don't need to uh, open an app to do a search which is pretty quick convenient very similar to the uh, just type search that we see on webOS and a lot of the universal search things that we've seen on iOS and Android as well